This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Ethan Chen. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Yo, fish fam, Corey, how are you guys doing? My name is Chris, you're watching Fish for Thought, and welcome back to another Fish Tank review. <laughs> You. Like Squad, can't believe that you're doing such a good job. Can't be here without you. Pushing that YouTube algorithm. Let's go 1,500 likes. Let's do it. Thank you to my patrons who are supporting this channel, making everything happen as it should be. Please consider joining my Patreon support team. A couple dollars from you is gonna mean a lot for my channel. Not to mention some perks, including a 24 seven high quality Minecraft server you can get on right now. All right, the Spruce Pets published some kind of article and it has Guppy as one of the listed items, except, except they put the neon tetra as the picture. Originally from Northeast South America, guppies are probably the second most readily available fish in captivity after the goldfish. There are many attractive variations of this popular and hardy fish, and apparently the neon tetra is one of those variations. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a round of applause, dude. Y'all did it. Y'all made the neon tetras into a species of guppy. I, I don't know. As as someone with a strong scientific background, is this how it works? I I guess so. These nitrates are too damn high. <laughs> Love this meme. Keep your nitrates at zero ppm. Let's go. Zero ppm nitrate gang. This fish bowl is sent in by Anubev Thakur. I definitely didn't say that right. Ugh, sue me. Don't. Don't sue me. I don't have... I don't have money. Not bad for a fishbowl at all. I just see that one guppy, which is okay. I don't think it's overstocked. I think this is totally doable. There's a heater in there. There's probably a filter. I think there's a sponge filter in the back covered by live plants. That's pretty cool. Just as long as the bowl is big enough and it's got live plants, filtration, uh, proper temperature, not overstocked, there's nothing wrong to say about it. The scape could use some work though, TPH. It's a little messy here and there. Um, I recommend you take a look at some like ADU aquascaping or serpa design to see, uh, you know, what you can improve on. For me, it's a 3.9 out of 5 for now. What my wife thinks I do, <laughs> yeah, it's... It's, pr it's, it's pretty expensive. What my mom thinks I do. What my mom thinks I do. That's pretty accurate, probably. What my neighbors think I do. Aquaponics. Yep. What my boss thinks I do. Just look at Nemo and Anemone. What I think I do. Like the, the whole hardcore research uh, marine biologist. What I actually do. Yeah. Tumbling and climbing over clumsily trying to do some tank maintenance. That's right. I'm not a saltwater aquarist, but I can connect with this. Next tank sent in by Athenos from the Discord server. What's up, Athenos? I like that the centerpiece is sort of like a tree. You covered it in moss, and then there's roots all over the rocks. That's a really neat effect that you don't see every day. Back is pretty heavily covered by plants. There's some lilies or hydrocado floating up top. Not sure. Very understocked. In fact, I don't see any fish at all. <laughs> you know what's a good fish tank when there's no fish in it? A solid 4.5. 3 out of 5 from me. Good job, keep it up. Has 500 gallon planted tank. Complain saltwater is too hard. <laughs> yeah, I feel called out in a way. Like there are some things that are pretty hard in the planted tank, yet my number one excuse is like I'm not willing to learn saltwater, but it might even be more simple when it gets to some some specifics. But here I am, still not doing it. Well, you know damn well it's water change day, but you convince yourself it's still a week away. Hey, that rhymed. But I'm not a rapper. <laughs> All these math equations trying to convince yourself like, y you know, like the, the nitrates aren't aren't that... I, I I did it last week, so I got live plants in it. No, no, go go do your water change. Go, go right now. Pause, pause this video and go. All right, welcome back from your water change. You better have done it. And one random paracyclid. Just because the color's the same. Wow. Did you really not know? Or did you think it was okay because they are orange, just like goldfish? Or you didn't even know it wasn't a goldfish and you put it in <laughs> with the goldfish tank, which is so overstocked. What a sorry excuse of a fish tank. Look at that blue gravel. Scrumptious. This tank is sent in by Martin Clarkson. At first I was like, oh no, it's some Craigslist tank. And then I, I, I gave it 
a chance and it seems to look like sort of a uh, paludarium sort of enclosed uh, vivarium sort of thing with a water feature and a land feature i hope there's nothing living in that water it looks murky kind of dirty and way too small for anything to be living in it but i love the scape the rock formation and the mosses growing on top and all over the rocks i really appreciate that i think it's a cool scape caught me a little off guard still not too sure what i really want to rate this but uh it's pretty creative the moss are on the rocks. I love that effect. 4.2 out of 5. Keep it up. My friend's fish. Ugh, so freaking sad. Man, this is bad even for a SpongeBob fish tank. The house isn't even upright. It's fallen over. And then there's some kind of weird anemone thing. This is the worst SpongeBob tank out of all the bad SpongeBob tanks. This is the worst of the worst. And that, my friend, is an accomplishment in a way. Congratulations for being that. It seems so live. Live catfish. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> All you had to do was make sure it was true, that the live part was true. And all you had to do was take care of that one fish and it's dead. And you're wrong. It's not live. One job. Just, just one drop. This tank sent in by Sean Trinio. Lovely scape, not overstocked, got some live plants, but then I keep looking at it and it's got some like fruity pebble specks of substrate. It's got that weird artificial volcano bridge, but it's got the natural wood. It's got the live plants. The substrate is somewhat black, dark, natural looking, minus the fruity pebbles. Hey, but if you like looking at this, that's totally fine. I'm not gonna give it too high of a rating because of all these artificial aspects. And I hope you replace those artificial things with Hoko stone or Seiru stone. Trust me, it'll look so much better. Come on, 3.8 out of five. This tank is sent in by Stop It Please. I'm not sure if that's your real name, and I hope it isn't, but you do you. Also, nice scape. Interesting stocking options. You got Kissingarami, you got Angelfish, and an Oranda, or uh, one of those fancy goldfish in there, and a Clown Loach, a single Clown Loach. I don't see a school. They need to be in schools. The scape is great, minus all the stocking options, because I really don't agree with this. <laughs> I love the plant placement. I love the hardscape especially in the center. If it was properly stocked, I would probably give this tank like a 4.5 or maybe even higher. But because of the stocking, it's gonna have to drop down to a 3.8, I'm sorry. Keep it up though, try to uh, re-adjust your stocking options if you can. At the Gypsy Designer sent in this tank. Wow, the first thing I see is that trickle of light beaming through this dark tank. I love that effect, that's great. You got a little Otosynclus sucking up the glass. Understocked, you got a Honey Grammy, and I think that's it. Live plants, not bad. Black background, always appreciated. Lucky Bamboo, eh, not really feeling that as much. You might wanna take that out, replace it with something more respectable. And think about filling out your tank more with live plants, especially the back. Heartscaping, that piece of wood is okay, but you can also think of supplementing it more with more wood. But I love that there is no artificial hardscape to be seen in this tank, good job. Four out of five, keep it up. Look at that aquarium, Woody. They rinse their media with straight tap water. Losers, rinsing media filter with straight tap water. Yeah, if, if some of you are confused right now and are like, wait, you're not supposed to do that? No, unfortunately, you're not supposed to do that, but we shouldn't laugh at you because you are learning as well, and I had to learn that at some point in my aquarium hobby. So if you haven't heard yet, and what you wanna do is when you're cleaning out your filter media, maybe every six months, I would say, or even longer, because you really don't want to be touching that stuff too often. You want to basically do it with your water change. So you got your water that you sucked out um, in a bucket, and all you have to do is take out the sponge or whatever that's in there and swish it around in that bucket of your water changed water. This lets you clean off the macro debris without killing off beneficial bacteria colonies, and then you just put it back in. No rude emails, please. Axolotls. Oh man, I know that's bad. I have learned it, it is bad. I don't think you should keep more than one in a tank that small. It pains me to do this, but I can't take care of my babies anymore due to health issues. Okay, they need some TLC, tender loving care. Two albino axolotls, I believe it's a boy and a girl. About three years old, tank, stand, filter, UV, sterilizer, all included. I think I think that's that's good. Please do your research on them, please. Very redundant use of the word please. Somewhere in the comments, people are like, did this person do their research? Cause what the heck is up with that water looking all murky? And I'm not sure guys, if you are allowed to house permanently uh, one male and one female axolotl together in what looks like a 40, 30, 40 gallon tall 
I'm sure they need more surface area like long rather than tall but let me know if they can be housed together permanently like that. Poor boy, he looks so sad. Yep, he sure does. Made his blow looks so niche and clean today lol. So many colors. What the heck are you trying to say? Are you drunk? You are drunk. That tank looks drunk. Do some research, fix yourself. Apply yourself a little more, come on. They said this was adequate. What do you think? <laughs> I like how there's a transparent cup in there. That's probably the same cup that the fish came in. You're like, what What else can I put in this tank? Oh, maybe maybe the, the just, just dump the cup in. Maybe that's how the fish was put in there. Maybe the, they just threw the cup into this tank and just whatever, you know? The whole purpose for having a little hide is so that the beta can feel unexposed. What the heck? Hey guys, thank you for watching all the way through. Again, it helps with the algorithm. It helps push my video out to other people to recommend it. So you guys are the real OGs, the real supporters. Can't thank you guys enough. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet.